Welcome to Monaco, a city renowned for style, sophistication and inner city racing. This is Formula E, the all-electric race series. Five lights go on and we are racing here in Monaco. At Jaguar, we're serious about electric cars and we're using Formula E as a testbed for the pioneering technology we will be bringing into our new road cars. Jaguar right in the heart of the action here in Monaco. Electric cars need to be incredibly aerodynamic. In Formula E, this means the car can sustain high-performance driving for longer. In road cars like the I-PACE concept, this means you can drive further on a single charge. The Jaguar I-PACE concept is Jaguar's first indication of electric production car. And this is just the start. One thing about electric cars, of course, is range. You must get as many miles out of it as possible. Jaguar still 90% battery life left. The one thing that resists range is wind resistance. And what we've done at the front is we've let air run in through the top of the radiator grill and out over the bonnet and over the screen, keeping it close to the body. That helps to streamline the flow of the air. So the top half of the grill is actually open to let the air flow through the bonnet over the roof. But the bottom half of the grill is a real grill with a radiator in it because batteries need a lot of cooling, so that grill is very important. Jaguar really hanging on nicely to its position there. One thing that's most significant, and probably unusual for a Jaguar, is a very square back end in the car. It kind of goes against our very nature because Jaguars are very curvaceous. But in actual fact, the best aerodynamic shape for any car is a square corner, and not a round one. So it helps to manage the air through the car. I love the notion that we could do something different because the rules were different, the package was different. And I liken it almost to supercars, cab forward, mid-engine supercars. It's that profile and that stance. It really does make the car look quite exotic. And yet it's an everyday usable car. And that's what I love about it.